Hi team, in this next problem, I want to look at a case study involving synthetic phonics. Now there's a great definition here. So at some point in the video, I want you to pause me, pause and read it. But uh, here's the basic gist of synthetic phonics. It's, it's, the decode, it's using phonics to decode a word by taking the word and segmenting it into its individual sounds, then blending it together. So if a student comes to the word cat, they, they segment the sounds. I hear a k, an a, a t, and then they blend them together. Cat, that's not a, no such thing as a short T, just cat, right? So this is synthetic phonics, taking a word, segmenting it into its individual sounds, then blending it together. And guess what? That sounds exactly like what we've been doing in all these, you know, like uh, uh, segmenting, phoneme segmenting activities, right? So when we do things like say the movement, we're, we're essentially doing synthetic phonics. In a way, we're doing synthetic phonics. We're breaking it down into its sounds and then blending them together. So in this case, this scenario is going to use that. Now, now that you know what synthetic phonics is, I want you to read this question. I want you to take two minutes and I want you to practice uh, from here to here. Get it done in two minutes, okay? And then we'll talk. Okay, go ahead, do it now. Unpause, always practicing that pacing. This is a goal. The pace is two minutes. The more you do, the better you're gonna get, right? What are some things that you observed? Maybe you started to observe that the grades are get going up, right? Because as we progress in the phonics rules, as we get a little bit more advanced in the words, well, it makes sense that the grades are gonna get more advanced. So, it, so alphabetical principle, yeah, sure, kindergarten or early reader. But as we get to first grade and second grade, the phonics rules are gonna get more advanced. There's gonna be a higher expectation. All right, very good to know. Okay, so we got a first grade teacher is helping uh, a student to code. So that's the activity here. So within phonics, we're doing, we're gonna do an activity involving letter, sound, correspondence. The words stop. Which of the following teacher prompts illustrates the synthetic approach to phonics instruction? I circle that word synthetic approach. If you did not know what the synthetic approach is, um, you're gonna have no way of answering this question, right? It could be anything. Uh, in fact, all these could be the synthetic approach if there's an unknown there. That would be terrible on the day of the test if you came across a word like the synthetic approach, and, which is something that you already know and understand. You already know how to take a word like cat, segment the sounds at blended together, cat. You already got that. But if you didn't know the technical term uh, that matches up with that, then you'd be in trouble, right? Okay, we do know what it is. So let's go through the options and cross out the ones that are wrong first, okay? A, can you think of other words that end with the letter op? What sounds do the, uh, do the letters make in those other words? Okay, so this is looking for words that are similar to stop, words that have a similar rhyme or a similar look. We're not really do we're not doing that strategy right now, right? We're not looking and trying to come up with similar words that look similar or have a similar rhyme or similar uh, similar beginning alliteration of any type or similar um, a vowel sound in the middle. So that's that's not the strategy. That's not the synthetic approach, and that's actually very close to D. Uh, I mean, uh, very close to uh, D. Yeah, D. Does the word look like any other words that you know how to read? Can you sound out this? I'm looking over a mic here. Sorry about that. Got to lower this mic. Uh, can you sound out this word by comparing it to those other words? So again, this is like looking, looking at other words. Oops. And, and we're not trying to look at other words, right? And compare other words and see if there's other words like stop that look similar that we know how to decode. So that, that really A and D are very similar and they're out because we're doing the synthetic approach. Okay, is it C? Look at the sentence, the stoplight is red. Can you decode the second word by using clues? I guess they're referencing context clues uh, from, the, from the rest of the sentence. So when we say a context clue, we're looking at surrounding words in the sentence or passage that help us identify an unfamiliar word. And this type of uh, red light, light, uh, sorry, light is red. The blank, if a student didn't know how to decode the word stop, they would look for surrounding words and phrases. And red, the light is red. And then, you know, if they said, 
uh, if they said, uh, uh, if they were decoding this and they said SOP, the SOP is red or the SOP light is red, they, they would be like, that doesn't make sense. Oh, it's got to be stop because stop goes with light is red. Stop light is red. That type of clue where the, the context clue helps make sense of a miscue. I'll say it again. When the surrounding words make sense of a miscue, like stop doesn't make any sense, but, but stop makes sense with light, light is red. That's called a semantic context clue. That's a little tricky. I will, we'll look at a whole bunch of others a little bit later on when we get to word identification. Okay. Uh, but so for now, uh, we are not doing context clues. And so this would be out. So you see team, how, if we didn't know what this word meant, it'd be hard to cross out a, uh, C and D, and then we'd be, you know, in a pickle and we might get it wrong. Uh, because even though we understand the idea, we just can't match it up with this term. So let's just go to the, the idea and the correct answer real quick. The answer is, is uh, I believe it is B. So this thing right here, synthetic approach is, is uh, I'm sorry, C. No, no, it's B. Um, how uh, The question is, which of the following teacher prompts illustrates this synthetic approach to phonics instruction? It's B. Say the sounds that make the individual letters st, uh, p. What word uh, do you get if you blend those sounds together? So literally, Say the sounds of the individual letters is segmenting the sounds. S, t, uh, p, right? And then blend it together. So here we have synthetic phonics. The answer is B. This is from a reading specialist exam, the old one, the, the 08. It's still a good test. It's still got a lot of good practice questions in it and good vocab. Um, but if you're looking for that practice test, it's in one of the links below. This was that old reading specialist test. I wouldn't say old. The 62 just replaced it uh, about six months ago. So it's not like it's like, like it's been, a, it's been, uh, been old, retired for a long time. It's just been retired in the last year, but it's still a good practice test to look at. Uh, and the big vocab word here is synthetic phonics. So everyone add that to your list of vocab. Okay. All right. Uh, let's, let's keep going.